So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1151 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1151 code? Well, it's a lack of HO2S21 switch sensor indicates lean. And some scan tools will also give you lack of upstream heated oxygen sensor switch sensor indicates lean bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in and the heater elements do a few things to help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And the onboard computer seen a problem with these sensors. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be in the wiring, could be a blowing fuse. It could be an exhaust leak. So be sure to keep a lookout for that. Since if the exhaust is leaking, it can throw these sensors off. So that's something to keep in mind. And it's also possible that the engine's just running lean on bank two, and it's just throwing this sensor off and causing the sensor to send out a code. So that's very possible. And if that was the problem, then it wouldn't be the oxygen sensor. It'd be something else. It'd be like a MAF sensor or a vacuum leak or fuel pressure or something like that. And so keep in mind, if you go through and you test the oxygen sensor or replace it, then very likely there's something going on with bank two that's causing it to run lean. And so a V6 or V8 engine is going to have two banks. The number one cylinder is always bank one, and then the opposite of that is bank two. A four cylinder wouldn't matter, it'd only have one bank. And bank two is the side of the engine that the onboard computer's seen a problem with. And so the first thing to go and do is to locate that upstream oxygen sensor on bank two, and it's going to be called sensor one, and it's going to be located before the catalytic converter. The one located after the catalytic converter is called sensor two, or the downstream oxygen sensor. But the one the onboard computer is having a problem with is going to be bank two, sensor one, or upstream oxygen oxygen sensor. So this is the one you want to go and find it on your particular vehicle. It's always a good idea to get one of these diagrams if you can. It just makes it easier to know where all the sensors are. But first thing to go and do is to locate this bank two sensor one oxygen sensor. And then once you locate it, next thing to do, check out this wiring real good. And basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also keep in mind that these could be on a fuse and sometimes a relay. It could be kind of vague sometimes which fuse they're on, but they're usually on a fuse. Here's a 2018 Ford Mustang and it would be fuse 40 would be the one for the oxygen sensors and if that was to blow it would cause issues so that's something to keep in mind and so if you gone through and you checked out the wiring that all looks good there's no blowing fuses or anything like that then the next thing to do is either test or replace that bank 2 sensor 1 oxygen sensor and these can be tested there's some different methods for going about testing them i made some youtube videos on this i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out but the next thing to do is either test or replace that bank 2 sensor 1 upstream oxygen sensor and one thing to mention is that some Sometimes you need this special tool to get them in and out. Not all the time. Sometimes it can be out in the open, but quite often they're recessed down into the exhaust. And so you need this special socket that can go around that wire. It can vary a little bit. So go and look at it to see if you can get on it with an open end wrench. But quite often you do need a special socket that has a slot on one side to go around that wire. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about with the special socket. But basically go and look at it because sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1151 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.